Hey guys, so yesterday I posed a question and I asked, okay, so if we, if the Bible kind of tells us to stay away from fools, right? Also says to stay away from sin, stay away from sinful people, then how do we do ministry? And I think Jesus is the perfect example. He always is, but Jesus is the perfect example because who did he stay with? Who was he around? He was around the prostitutes and the tax collectors. But whenever he was around them, here's the difference, and this is how I can tell you whether or not you should be around certain people, is Jesus never participated in any of the things that those people you call a prostitute, it's because they do certain things. If you call them a tax collector, you know, they collect taxes, but they're also known for, you know, their their um, unjust ways and all this stuff, right? He, he was around the sinners, but whenever they were around him, they knew his boundary, right? They knew that he wasn't. They honored him for who what he stood for. And because of that, he was welcomed in their home. He went in and he had no, there was no harm in him being there. In the same way, we have to know our boundaries and we have to let people know what our boundaries are. If at some point in time your boundaries get crossed, then you need to leave a situation, right? Because at some point in time, you know, there are, there's going to be a coming to a head that will happen in that situation. And once again, yesterday we learned from Proverbs, you know, that a, a companion of fools suffers harm. Well, if you want to be around that fool whenever they are in their folly, then you are going to suffer harm. So I can tell you that, you know, like working with uh, different people, I, I mean, I am not the only one that has foul language that's all around me. Now I can tell you I don't participate in it, right? And whenever all of that starts to flow or whenever conversation heads away that I don't think is appropriate, I'll leave. Like, I'm not going to make you... I'm not going to make you change your ways, but I will leave because I'm not going to condone it by being there and being a participant in it. So that being said, just kind of think about it. What is your boundaries? What do you allow to happen around you that, you know, like is wise and what's unwise? Uh, what, you know, if, if do people respect your boundaries? Do they know what you stand for? Because if they don't know what you stand for and they don't respect your boundaries, it's because you haven't set them up and you are the one that's responsible to do that. So thanks for taking a minute.